What's up everybody, welcome back. We're going to do a couple of short little videos. We're going to do a series here on Altenstein map. Uh, first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to sell all the equipment. Um, I'm going to use everything from the Massey pack on this map. I'm going to do it the quick way and I'm just going to sell everything from the menu rather than taking everything to the sell point. So we can go ahead and get started. Just going to go in here to the garage. I'm going to sell the tractors loaders, all the equipment. We're going to sell everything. We're going to use mostly Massey equipment. Uh, there may be a couple other things that we end up using that aren't. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep the water trailer because there's not one in the mass bag. So, All right. Go ahead and get us a couple of tractors bought. Let's see what we want here. Um, we're going to buy cheap tractor, loader, standard wheel. We don't want sunshade. We don't need warning triangle. Gonna buy that. And we'll buy one of the bigger tractors with loader attachment we'll go with the rear twin wheels and just the standard okay so we've got our tractors that we need we are going to buy a front loader we're going to need a bail fork so we'll go with spikes Gonna need a front loader bucket. And I think that's all we're gonna need for now. Um Yeah, if we need something else, we'll just go back and get it. Gonna buy us a tipper, because we will definitely need that. And they're a pretty small field, so we shouldn't need anything too huge. So we're just gonna buy the standard. And by keeping in everything standard that we can, we save money that way. Get us a cultivator. Um, we need a harvester. And we should just about be able to get everything that we need with the amount of money that we have. Um, what else do we need? We need a sewing machine. If we do corn, we will have to get a different sower. I don't believe there is a sower for corn from the Massey, so we'll have to do something a little different for that. We will probably get the Amazon one, but we'll see when we get there. We are going to need a fertilizer spreader. I'm not going to be using a manure spreader or a slurry tank. We need a header trailer. And we'll go ahead and use the one that came with the Massey pack once again. Um, let's go ahead and start getting some of this stuff on. What I'm going to do, so I don't have to come back, I am actually going to put this bale spike in the tipper. And we'll just dump it out.
We have a little bit of a traffic jam. Get around the tractor and we'll get that out of the way. We're just going to take all this stuff to the farm and get it set up the way we want. And we'll see how many times we can crash between here and there. Hopefully that'll slide right out of there. Yep. Okay, for now we're just going to put this bucket up. There's a wheelbarrow there. Nobody saw that. Oh. I'm actually going to take this loader off for now. Don't need that on while we're just moving equipment around, so... Alright, we're going to go back and get the fertilizer spreader and get it put where we want it. first person view here. One of these trips while we're over by the store, or at the store actually, we will go ahead and get us a weight for the front of these tractors as well, because I'm sure we will need those. But by selling all the equipment that we... Yeah, see our front end's already trying to come up off the ground. By selling all the equipment that we originally started off with, we are able to have enough money to purchase all this equipment and have some money left over. It 
so we'll be able to buy other things or buy more cows which is really nice on this map you start out with cows and pigs for those that don't know um, I am also going to buy the placeable uh, pig food silo because it's just less hassle more convenient for me that's how I play not everybody plays that way which is perfectly fine You start out with everything but sugar, beets, or potatoes to feed the pigs. And uh, of course, you have to have the straw to give to them for bedding as well. Since we're right here, we're just going to go over here. Oh, you have to. There, here's the buy icon. There we go. Going to go ahead and buy two weights for these tractors. spawn on the other side it looks like. Way down here. Grab this cultivator. Hopefully the front end doesn't come up too much. I think that weight's going to be plenty. I may do a few streams for this series, but I think that I'm mostly going to keep this a video series. Um, something a little different. Open up the shed here. Put the cultivator inside. Go ahead and put our header on here. They spawned a little close together. These roads are definitely not wide enough to travel down with the header on, so we're going to go ahead and put it on this header trailer. Might be a little difficult to get there with the amount of traffic that we have without hitting somebody. Try not to fling the header off here. Maybe we can turn there, but we can't.
Hopefully it doesn't hit this time. A little bit of a tight squeeze going around here, but that's okay. We'll manage. Just going to leave that header on there. Go back after our cedar. Cars go by there. Gonna have to make one trip back at least because I forgot to pick up the weight for this tractor and we're definitely gonna need that. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get this over here and put it up and then we will bring our harvester over. Bridges are just a little tight. I think we will put that in here. It's actually not going to fit. So, let's see where else we have. For now, we will actually just put it right here out of the way. I enjoy using this older equipment. Um, that's why we're going with the Massey Pack on this map. I mean, it's a small enough map that we can get by with using all this Massey equipment. We'll put this over here in the same shed that we put the header in. Okay, so we have our cedar, fertilizer, cultivator, harvester, we have a tipper. We have tractors, we have a loader. Um, we are going to need a mower, which we can also get from the Massey Pack. From Forage Harvesters.
We're going to see if we can get that here without hauling anything. I'm not sure if we'll be able to cross that bridge with it. It's awful wide. So I think we will actually go around this way. A little bit of a tight squeeze there, not too bad. We've got to have the mower in order to mow grass for our cows. And sheep, we'll eventually get sheep. Should I have turned? I think we're fine. Um, this also won't fit in those little sheds, so... What we may end up doing is, after we get some money made, we may end up building another shed or placing another shed. For now, we'll put this back here behind the harvester. So we've got our mower, we need a baler, and a tether and a wind rower. Baling technology. And I personally like square bale, so I'm going to go with the square baler, even though it is a little more expensive. We'll go with... this trailer for hauling the bales. We need a tether. So we don't have a massy tether. So we will just buy uh, this one here, I guess. And we need a wind rower. I don't like the Pottinger, so we're going to go with the Coon. And now we have $91,000. Let's go ahead and unhook this here. We'll go back and get some of that. I'm actually going to leave this weight right here so we can pick up the other one while we're there. Save us a trip. I don't know if we can actually hook anything up to that hitch or not. Let's try it. Let's see if we can save this trip. Uh, 
obviously can't. Not that, anyways. So we'll just go ahead and take this. Do believe we, yes we can store stuff in here as well I'm gonna go ahead and put the baler in here for now well it's we'll probably change where we put stuff as we go but good place to tuck it away for now So we have the windrower, the tedder, and the trailer left. Now I do believe we should have just about everything that we need. other than the placeable pig food silo. Then we'll be able to get on to some farming. Get on to the fun stuff. Where do we want to put this? kind of have to figure out all our locations that we want everything as we go, I guess. See what works out the best, most convenient. It's my turn there. I'm actually just going to pull this around back and set it back here in the grass for now. 
until we can get everything figured out, figure out where we actually want to keep everything. So I think as soon as I get this uh, tether down there, we'll have all the equipment we need to at least get us started. And that will be the end of this video. And then we will start our actual farming series. So if you guys like what you see on my channel, please be sure to like and subscribe or even share the videos. It is greatly appreciate, appreciated. And if anybody would like to donate, there'll be links in the description. Um, definitely not required, but it, it helps out a lot. We'll put this back here with the windrower as well. Park this tractor in here. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, like I said, be sure to like, subscribe if you like what you see on my channel. It's greatly appreciated. And make sure to turn those notifications on so you know when I do my live streams or upload another video. Uh, thanks for watching. Everybody, have a good one.